Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, I get the question a lot from, especially from friends that I hang around a lot who aren't into cardistry and magic. Um, and the question is, are different types of cards really that different? Um, you know, can you tell the difference? What are the differences? Um, you know, besides just the looks, and does it really matter? So, I sort of tried to film uh, some sort of video like this earlier this week and Long story short, just didn't work out. So uh, here's take two, I guess. Um, so I got two decks of cards here that I'll be comparing. I decided the best way to do this would be sort of a hands-on, um, just go through the differences. Hopefully I you know, make it entertaining and engaging. <laughs> but I'll be comparing the Fall Winter 17, Virtuoso. Um, I, you know, you could really put any high quality USPCC deck here. I just chose Verts because they're iconic. I don't know if they're there yet, but they're very well known for cardistry. Um, and I'm comparing them to this free deck of cards that I've had for like forever. That, you know, it's probably something you'd see in the board game section of, you know, somebody's house, something you'd play card games with, uh, just a normal deck of cards. So, yeah, uh, gonna go through that, do a quick comparison. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into it. Okay, so after messing with angles for a while, this is what we got. Um, don't have the luxury of having two camera angles and still have a monitor, so uh, hopefully this works out. Uh, so anyways, yeah, so got these two decks of cards. Uh, quick trivia on this one actually, this was my first deck of cards, um, just a freebie somewhere, so it was always around the house. So when I started getting into magic and stuff like that, this was the deck I would, you know, mess around with. And it wasn't like serious magic, it's just, you know, I'd see somebody on TV or something like that and I'd, you know, try to imitate them. Um, and if you look, it's just not quite cardboard, it's just thick paper. And if you look at the finish, it's really just sort of this glossy finish. It's not even quite a plastic finish. It might be, but it's just, just very uneven when you spread. So a fan would look something like, beautiful. <laughs> fan would look something like that. Um, spreading through cards is kind of hard. Um, cardstock it's just again thick paper um, the faces the prints themselves a bit weird but they're not too bad uh, but overall that's that's just kind of what the deck is like and as for the verts I'm sure you guys know what verts are but in case you don't they're these guys and they feel nice they look amazing and they're expensive yeah, so this is a deck of verts. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm using Fall Winter 17, it's because it's the only deck I can really afford. <laughs> but you know, verts are verts, what can I say? So first off, I would say the main difference, like the key difference between a deck like this that's made by USPCC, uh, US Playing Card Company, that's, you know, pitch towards cards, magicians, or just, you know, a really nice deck of cards, compared to a deck like this, I'd say the main difference, number one, would be the finish. The finish is something that wears off, um, and it is a thing that deteriorates, but if you look closely at the Verts deck, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is an air cushion finish, because it's a USPCC deck of cards, you can see the little, uh, dimples, right? And those are sort of air pockets. They keep the cards nicely spaced so you can fan them out uh, easily. It minimizes friction. Uh, pretty much, yeah, pretty much keeps the cards nice and uh, even and very, very loose. So if you look, if I shake my hand like that, the deck kind of moves around in the middle of it and you can effortlessly do whatever with it. It's all about minimizing friction giving a consistent feel that's not too slippery, but not too, um, what's the opposite of slippery? Not too, it, ma it makes it smooth. Whereas compared to a deck like this, it's just not uh, as much of a refined process. The cards are just uh, hard paper and they're covered with 
some sort of, I can't even tell what this is, some sort of shiny coating, or maybe it's just, just like shiny paper, like the type you get um, if you're doing a project in school or something, and cut into the shapes of cards. So that's the main difference with finish. Uh, finish really makes a big difference. Like when you think about it, you can tell the difference between a deck, say by like expert playing cards or some company like that, compared to USPCC, uh, between the stock and the finish, those are the two things that really set the two apart. Um, and that seamlessly segues me into the second thing, which is the cardstock. So the cardstock's just the paper that the cards are printed on, but uh, USPCC has just got it down to the right balance. Because essentially, if you have the cardstock too thick and too stiff, then it'll be hard to bend and hard to move around. But if you have the cardstock too soft, it won't give that snappy feel and things like the spring just won't be as nice, won't be as easy to do. So it's a very fine line that you have to go down and uh, I think USPC, USPCC has nailed it. Um, so they take their cardstock and then in addition to that, they crush it. So you get uh, some, you get more resistance, right? You get more stiffness, but in a thinner deck, which gives it a snappy feel. Um, like I believe even just a normal bicycle deck that you buy is already crushed stock and decks like this they just asked them to crush it more. Whereas a deck like this, uh, most most of the time they're thicker. Um, these are thicker, right? Yeah. They're thicker and a lot of times more stiff. This one in particular, yeah, it is pretty stiff but I think it's better just because I've been using it for who knows how long. Um, but overall, it's still, you know, not as nice of a cardstock and doesn't uh, doesn't quite handle as well. Now, keep in mind, some people do prefer a chunkier cardstock. Um, I haven't I haven't met many people like this, but but there are people who prefer a thicker, a sturdier cardstock, just what what feels better to them. Um, again, that's. I, Kind of a personal preference thing, but for the most part, thinner crushed card socks better. This deck has it. And then thirdly, it's design. So the previous two kind of covered how the cards handle. So you know the finish kind of relates to uh, say fans or spreads. So how the cards spread out, uh, how they fan in a circle how even they are, uh, how easy it is to deal, how easy they are to shuffle. Um, and then, you know, the cardstock, again, in, in shuffling and, and different flourishes kind of comes into play. But the third one, the design, this is mostly just a visual element. And it really is just about the attention to detail of whoever made the deck of cards. Uh, and in this case, the verse who made this deck uh, did a great job the back design, they spent a lot of time uh, creating a design that really accentuates the movements that you do when you do cardistry. So uh, I'm sure you've seen the ad advertisements and stuff like that where they do all these different flourishes and you can see the different type of patterns that they form just given the angle and all that of this shape. And if you spin this card, which you know I, I really can't spin it that fast, but if you do spin it really fast, you get this cool optical illusion and sort of water wheel effect around it, which is super cool. And so overall, you know, the back design, there's a lot of thought that goes into it, um, a lot of aesthetics and stuff. And the face design, here, these are fully uh, custom face cards. And, you know, e each face card, uh, the details are drawn out nicely. They're just, you know, nice to look at, uh, fun to use. Like, you know, when you use a deck of cards, it's nice to look down and just, you know, be able to appreciate the art and some of the effort that goes into it. Uh, also, fanning patterns, like on the faces of this, actually, there's a fanning pattern, a little bit there. So if you fan the deck, in, in certain instances, when you fan the deck or spread the deck, the fanning pattern will form like a continuous line, giving this, uh, again, an, another just visual aspect to it. Whereas, say, a deck of cards like this, obviously there's not, not much 
attention to what's on it. It's a, uh, it's a one-way design, meaning if you invert the card, it will stand out from the rest, if the rest are all in the same direction. And um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else I can say about the back, <laughs> the back of the cards. You can judge for yourself. And the face is, is just a standard print. Uh, not a USPCC standard print, but a different one. And it's it's pretty much, you know, just like that. And, and there's nothing really wrong with it. But having a customized deck just seems a lot nicer. And, and the cards oftentimes just look a lot nicer. And it's as simple as, as that. And so those three elements kind of tossed in together and made into two decks creates a pretty different experience. And uh, the interesting part about this is really how much the, you know, how much the difference creates. Because I was just thinking about the other day, um, yeah, the question of does it really matter? Like the difference between cards. And I came to the conclusion that I don't think it really matters as much as it seems because, um, you know, if you meet a cardist or a magician, chances are they'll have a deck collection. Uh, anywhere from, you know, a brick to a collection like, you know, Chris Ramsey's and uh, You know, and that's all just to pursue kind of like the perfect Feel or you know, or if you're just a card collector just collecting cards But I was thinking about it and I was like in essence the difference in card stock and card finish is actually very nuanced between a sort of a professional deck and just a standard deck of cards that's printed just at minimal cost. Um, and if you think about it, like the first few years of cardistry, what I learned, um, the deck of verts was actually one of the first deck of cards that I specifically bought to learn magic and cardistry with. Just because, you know, I my mindset was if I get a good deck, it'll be a good tool to help me learn cardistry. But instead, now looking back in retrospect, what I learned, I could probably do on any deck of cards. Uh, matter of fact, I could probably do it on this one. Like, uh, say phased that I just learned. You know, I, I can do that here no problem. Give me a sec to finish that up. You know, and, and a lot of the controls, you know, if, if you want to control a card to the bottom, you can, you can just show a card like that doesn't focus don't mind that and you know you show it to the audience you have them push it in you know and the cards on the bottom like the essential stuff really doesn't matter it's just the extra it's the extra feel and the and you know the overall experience so whether or not it matters that's that's up for you to decide uh, to be honest that's kind of my quick rundown on the difference between decks of cards. Uh, the difference here is easy enough that it's really not worth doing a blindfold test or anything. Like it's pretty obvious which deck is which deck. But you know, then you get down to the differences. Like some people uh, claim that the cards from USPCC printed in Cincinnati, Ohio feel different than the ones printed in Kentucky. And they do feel different. Uh, and some people make a big deal about that. Some people, you know, the whole Jerry's Nuggets craze and stuff. So there are a bunch of different levels of this stuff. Uh, you guys can go out and have fun checking that out. Uh, feel free to subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other content. Um, I'll be sure to link some stuff at the end of this video. Yeah. All right, so that's all I got for today. Um, I'm thinking about doing a more uh, in-depth tutorial about the Anaconda dribble. So see if I can do it right now. So that thing. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you want to learn it, be sure to get the notification bell on and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.